St. Paul's Grand Avenue attracts people from all over the region and beyond. But some changes are on the way to help revitalize that popular shopping destination. Maury Glover joins us now live from St. Paul with more on that and these changes that are expected to come to Grand Avenue. Maury? Well, Grand Avenue is one of the most beloved streets in St. Paul, and the city council wants it, wants it to stay that way for years to come. I love Grand Avenue because it's a walkable neighborhood. Hello, how are you doing today? Dan Marshall has owned Mischief Toys on Grand Avenue for nearly a decade. But lately, he's noticed some changes along the iconic street that he believes are troubling. We've lost J. Crew, we've lost uh, Pottery Barn and Anthropology, and uh, as those businesses go and they reduce the number of stores that they have, Grand Avenue has some empty spots. Compounding the situation, back in 2006, city leaders created the East Grand Avenue Overlay District, which limited new buildings to three stories or less to preserve the character of the neighborhood. Since then, almost no new development has gone in along the mile and a half stretch from Aid Mill Road to Oakland Avenue, and some neighbors have pushed to loosen the rules for development. We've seen development along Grand Avenue uh, stagnate over time. There's been a lot of concern from residents in the area and from visitors to the area that they see um, vacant spaces. They don't see a lot of new development along the avenue since this overlay was adopted. So a motion from Ms. Naker to approve. All in favor say aye. Aye. On Wednesday afternoon, the St. Paul City Council voted unanimously to remove those building height restrictions. But buildings taller than 40 feet would have to step back 10 feet for that story, so they don't loom over sidewalks. The amendments also require new buildings to have pedestrian-friendly elements on the ground floor, like windows, awnings, and porches to support a lively street. I think it's overdue that we unlocked this kind of development on Grand Avenue that's also going to keep the area feeling like the special place that it is. Do you want anything gift-wrapped? Marshall hopes the changes not only bring more people to shop on Grand Avenue. You're all set. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. But to live there, too. I'm really excited about the future because this just opens the door for a Grand Avenue renaissance. Now this effort has been going on for a couple of years, but those changes will finally take effect in the middle of next month. Reporting live in St. Paul, Maury Glover, Fox 9.